first you put it in the developer and it takes from one and a half minutes to two and a half minutes to develop. Once that is done, while you're timing it, you take it out of the developer, drain the print always, then you put the print in the stop bath. Stop bath usually about 30 seconds at the most, and that stops the developing process. Then you drain the print, then you put the print into the fixer. And usually, depending on what type of fixer you have, it's one minute for me to two minutes. Sometimes you leave the fixer in, depending on how strong it is. And once it's done fixing, usually you drain the print, then you put it in the beholding bath. Once you've finished your printing, your holding bath usually has this water filtration system on it and you wash the prints for however long. There is a process to where you can shorten the washing process by washing the prints slightly then getting another tray of um, hypo clearing agent and it, you put it in there for two minutes and it takes the chemicals out of the print, then you put the prints back into the wash, washing tray and you wash for another two to three minutes. So you want to squeegee the print off, usually I do both sides very lightly, and then you go to the drying rack and you'll put the print here and come back the next morning and hopefully you've done a good job. There's two types of paper. There's resin coated paper and then there's fiber paper, which the fiber paper is like kind of stiff and plastic like. This is, is resin, this is plastic paper. That is cotton paper. So much more lustrous this is than this. This this has piles of silver in it. And this is what real art photographers print on. Plastic paper, when this is wet, it's like tissue paper. And when you lift it up, you get a crease in it, it's ruined. Al probably did mostly this stuff because there wasn't a lot of this stuff around when Al was really out there grinding. And the more silver in the print, the better it is. It's incredibly fragile the way Al did it. So, you know, that's when the, the, the fine art stuff came in with Al. I'd see him everywhere and he was always walking around taking pictures. He always had his camera with him. That's like, that. I, you know, I went, God, I just could never do that. I mean, like, today I've been looking through the back of a camera for like eight hours. I'm going, I don't even want to see a camera.